Have you ever noticed towards the end of the year and the beginning of the year is when a lot of things tend to happen? Like, have y'all been feeling that shift? I've been feeling that shift for a very long time. So, Damar uh, Hamlin, everybody should know by now, if you don't know, you've been living under a rock. He basically suffered a cardiac arrest and fell out in the middle of the field after, uh, after a play, after a tackle. And the crazy part about it is, man, I really don't even like doing videos like these. I really don't because people try to maximize off of these type of stuff and they don't talk about it either. I'm gonna just be the one to talk about it. People try to maximize off of these type of videos and they go on and on and on and on and on. And usually I'm quiet about this type of stuff because I kind of feel like there's a sense of guilt that comes behind it. But news has to be news. And sometimes people just want to hear it come from you, especially if you got a different approach. Um, you know, I, I, I've always wanted my son to play football. And I will, I'm sure that anybody would want the best for their kid. And especially if you play a, speci a, a, a particular sport or you're in a certain type of field, you wouldn't mind if they join your line of work as long as they're safe. And that's all that really matters. Of course, we all know football is a very, very dangerous sport. But all sports can be considered dangerous. Just depends on how things go down. You can step the wrong way, fall the wrong way, all kind of stuff, man. There's so many different things and so many different components that you have to look out for in order uh, to maintain a healthy life. And a lot of those things you cannot control. We don't have control over life and death. We don't have control over that. We can, we can prevent life and death from certain areas by maintaining ourselves or you know, having a lot of discipline, but you just never know. A crazy situation that a lot of us, many of us have never seen before. But, it's, but also, let's just say there's a lot, of, a lot of athletes have fallen out on soccer fields, baseball fields, all kind of stuff, man. Basketball uh, events and just playing flat out, just left. And, uh, you know, just messed up situation, man. You don't want to see this happen to anybody. And, uh, you know, it's just crazy, man. And about that whole Skip Bayless situation. Skip Bayless, man, I don't dislike Skip Bayless, but I would just like to know what would what goes through your mind when you're saying that the game must continue and you're thinking about a game over a human life? That's the problem. And this is why I like to keep my mouth shut sometimes and I don't jump out there every day because I understand that when you have a line of work where you're always talking, always moving your Twitter fingers and stuff like that, you're gonna mess up one day. You're not gonna say all the right things. You're not gonna be able to articulate yourself in all the best ways because we're human, we mess up. But for Skip to come out and say what he said and then try to double down on it and act like that we took it the wrong way, that was messed up. That was messed up. And uh, I really do think he did that low key to try to get people to watch Undisputed and basically just see what he's all about. And yeah, that's just what that is. But overall, I'm sure um, DeMar Hamlin's family they're at least concerned is Skip Bayless. They're at least concerned is people who are acting like jackasses. Uh, the only thing that matters is this man's health. And uh, it's going to be very, very difficult for the rest of these players, a lot of these players, to go out there and put their bodies at risk at the highest level without having a sense of fear. And that's just what it is. Uh, you make a com you make a contact like that, and then all of a sudden, that would scare the living hell out of just about any athlete, especially a football player, from what they witnessed. So, everybody, man, keep old boy in your prayers. The family, um, it's very unfortunate. A lot of times, you don't really have words for stuff like this, but hopefully, this right here got somebody to look at things a little bit differently or a lot differently and i don't blame these athletes for leaving the game early i always tell people 
You leave the game, don't let the game leave you. You retire the game, don't let the game retire you. If you feel like you wanna keep going, go ahead and keep going. But if someone chooses to get out of the game in two, three years, four years, six years, one year, let them do it, man. They shouldn't be ridiculed for that. They shouldn't have to have a finger pointed at them like this because you wanted something for them from you, the perception that you built in your mind. They have a choice, they have a decision to make, they're grown, and they have every right to do that. A lot of times people, it's one of those things where you gotta understand yourself and you gotta understand your body. And don't nobody know your body better than you, not even the doctor. So, man, y'all keep on boy your prayers. Much love.